More on that overnight breaking news that Melissa just mentioned. Serious early morning crash that did shut down 95 South and Attleboro for a time overnight. Julian Lima has been in contact with police and fire officials. She joins us now from our breaking news center with more. Well, Danielle and Patrick, just within the past few minutes, Massachusetts State Police confirmed one person died in this crash. Four others were hurt, some of them critically. Now, again, all of those southbound lanes on I-95 near Exit 3 were shut down for more than two hours, but again, they were reopened in the past few minutes. State Police tell us the crash happened around 2 o'clock this morning. You can see eyewitness news crews on scene captured some of the scene there. Now, fire officials tell us when they arrived at the scene, two cars involved were on opposite sides of the road. One of the cars crashed into the median. The other ended up on the embankment off the road. We're told two men and one woman were unconscious when crews arrived. We've since learned one of those people has died. Four of the victims were taken to Rhode Island Hospital. Fire officials tell us the most critically injured was rushed to Sturdy Memorial Hospital in Attleboro. Fire officials say they had to use the jaws of life to get two of the passengers out. They estimate all of the victims were in their 20s and 30s. We're told one of the cars was a small Kia. The other was a company Packed car. Now, fire officials tell us two of the other victims have life threatening injuries, but state police say just one other person has serious injuries. The cause of the crash is still under investigation, but stay with us all morning as we continue to learn some new information. Reporting live in the Breaking News Center, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.